Hey there, Jay Marshall here from NMUSD Ed Tech. Let's look at Google Forms quizzes in Schoology. Not only how do I get that quiz into Schoology, but how do I get Schoology to access the grades from that quiz? Mm -hmm. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is create your quiz or open the existing quiz that you already have. This is not a tutorial on making quizzes, so I assume you know how to do that already. One thing you do need to do, though, is make sure that the first question on your quiz is this. What is your NMUSD six-digit student ID number? Please make that required. That is important for the purpose of getting the grades into the Schoology gradebook. We're not looking for the at NMUSD.us portion, just the six-digit ID number. I also like to include first and last names, questions, and then the questions I have. I um, encourage you to add your point value for each question. There we go. Look at that. There were five points each. Now, once I'm finished creating my quiz or pulling up my existing quiz and not forgetting, of course, to add that question, we have to add this. So if you have an existing quiz, click the plus sign. Add this question at the top. What is your six-digit student ID number? Very important. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. Now we need to get this a link from this quiz and send it to Schoology. So we're going to click Send. And I want you to click this button right here. This is your link button. There are a couple of ways of doing this. I'm showing you one way today. Click the link and select Copy. So I just made a copy of this URL. It's exciting stuff. Now I'm going to go to my Schoology page, and I'm going to add material. So I can do it by clicking this button here or by hovering over one of these gray lines. I want to do that because I want it right here and I don't want to deal with dragging it around. So I'm going to hover over this and choose the green plus sign. You'll see it looks the same as the Add Materials button above. Please select Add File Link External Tool. All right, now we have three options. Let's choose the one to the far right external tool. And you have only two things to do here. Give it a title and paste that link that you just copied. It's that easy. Look at that. Looky here. I click Submit, and now it's going to appear in Schoology. And now I will jump over to my student, my student, Ricky. You'll see here I am, Ricky. I'm going to refresh just so I know it's up to date here. There we go. So Ricky's going to take this quiz. So the first question is, what is the ID number? He knows it, of course. And now I can have him plug in his name. Um, you know, let me answer these questions real quick. Okay, very good and very good. Bingo, submit. So my student has taken the quiz, and that's a good thing. It's great. So now what I can do is go to my sample quiz. I'm in Google Forms. I, I know that Ricky has taken the quiz already. I will refresh just to make sure that everything is current. And I can click on Responses. When I click on Responses, I can see that he got 10 out of 15 points. Not too bad for Ricky. If I click the three dots right here, this is the More button. Looks like a little snowman. Mm -hmm. If I click that, I can select this option, Download Responses.csv. Please do that now. Fabulous. Now it is, it is saving right now. And you can see it's saving in my downloads folder. You'll have to take note of where it is saving on your computer, so make sure you are aware of that. I'm going to close this for now. Brilliant. Now I go back to my um, Schoology course, and I want to get into my gradebook. This is really fun. So what I'm going to do is, maybe I can delete this real quick. There we go. Perfect. So now what I can do is choose my plus sign. So I'm in gradebook, go to plus, and I need to add a grade column. So I will call it the same thing I've been calling it, sample quiz. Change my point value to 15. Make sure I select the proper category. Make all the selections you need to make for your gradebook. But the main thing is your point value and your title. Right, so we're good to go. I'm going to choose Create. So now I have a column, 
And now we're at the last step, which is importing that CSV file. You're doing great. Now we're going to look for the three dots again. There it is, our little snowman, our more button, and we will choose import. Step one, choose file. So now I need to locate it. I know that I named it sample quiz. So it's down here. I believe it's this one. And I choose open. And upload file. So now we have to match columns. We only have to match two columns. The one column that we need to match is total score. And when you click the little drop down, you need to find the assignment. And there it is, sample quiz. So total score is going to be attached to this column that we just made called sample quiz. Here's all of them right here. Okay. The next thing you need to do is make sure you select the one question that has the that's asking for the six digit student ID number. Okay, and we're going to select unique user ID. Top choice. These are the only two things we have to select. So now I scroll down in preview. It'll pull up a list of your students. I only have the one who took it. And I can confirm it. And now you will see sample quiz Ricky, 10 points out of 15. There are a few steps involved. It's doable. And once you get into a rhythm, it's not so bad. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to edtech at nmusd.us and have a great day.